kind of a rant. Because it's better than replying to someone's video. Uh, I'm really sick of hearing about this Rick Beato guy. Um, and how he's a champion of uh, uh, free speech and this and that. Because he, he went to Congress. He was invited to Congress. And that makes him more important than the rest of us. And he... He went about it differently when he got a copyright strike from the cars. And he... He makes it seem like it was a novel idea to go... Uh, contact... Um, UMG. And then he gets someone... I think it was from the cars... Or someone from their management that he knows. Hey, Rick, what's up, man? You know, it's like that. He he knows someone that can pick up the phone and call someone else. They can sit there and pull it. That does not happen to the rest of us. And it's a bunch of BS. His videos, uh, I do believe, are fair use. But he doesn't argue that. He's not going to court. He's not going to sue the same people who uh, make his living for him. So he's a fraud in that sense. All this talk about like, oh, he's just a champion of this and that because, no, he has two million followers and he basically threatened to use them against them by sitting there saying, you know, showing his channel, not like writing a letter anonymously, posting it to Twitter or whatever. I did the same thing. Guess what? Zero reply. Don Henley's uh, little henchmen, 60 henchmen, 40 plus hours a week, uh, they're not replying. They have a job. Their agenda is to make money. Uh, and they're getting paid by Don Headley's UMG, whatever. So they're not going to help me or you or anyone else. Unless you have 2 million subscribers. And then you have all these fucking friends. He has all these friends. And he even said that. That is why his copyright strike got removed. He's got plenty that are blocked. And everyone has that. But... I mean, that is complete BS. Complete BS that, uh, you know, uh, people are just all over his nutsack. And just acting like he's just the champion of this and that. Yeah, I felt for the same thing when I was, you know, uh, a teenager. Even though I didn't like heavy metal music, I did not like uh, rap music. And I could see, even as a teenager, they were definitely trying to push kids down certain avenues i would see it later a couple years later like living in brockton this used to be cracktown usa and now it's fentanyl usa and all these things they're pushed to psyop up or whatever but i i fell for you know like frank zappa or something because uh, he appeared before congress and he acted all cheeky in front of the congressman and so oh yes okay we're all impressed yeah as teenagers naive teenagers but um no he's he, he would be arguing one of those things. Oh, everything's free speech and blah, blah, blah. And um, and he probably argued like uh, the example of uh, yelling fire in a crowded theater. Um, but, you know, uh, and I, other people have explained his whole situation against authority more better. That he, he's taken on authority because he got busted. He got set up by the feds um, to produce a pornographic record for them. <laughs> entrapment but still these guys aren't the the last word and most of us are not getting represented we are not represented we are not invited we're not invited to the table we didn't get invited to congress or we might have suggested that uh youtube is to blame for a lot of this and even don henley said that because when you upload a video and the content ID recognizes, okay, you t you could tell was semi in tune, so we recognized it. And they say, this is not a copyright strike. The the, uh, the rights own allows this to be used on YouTube. That is what YouTube says. How can they sit there and skirt behind the safe harbor provision and call themselves, we're just a venue, just a fucking venue, man. Uh, like a bar? Where's a bar pay for a license? So people can go in there and do cover versions and shit like that. Um, I think it's time YouTube either stopped us, stop us right at the door. No, nope, we can't allow that. We identify that as copyright material. We're not allowing that. Or they need to go to all the publishers 
and then negotiate a deal. And the biggest thing, the biggest problem that I um, am, I'm noticing, and it seems like no one else notices, is uh, the biggest gripe is coming, I think, from the publishers. Because they want the synchronization fees. I'm making a video right now. Now, if I kept on going with that, they got a problem with that. They even might have a problem with those two chords. They will actually be bastards like that. Remember the one, the group Spirit, tried to sue Led Zeppelin for a Stairway to Heaven? Oh, that sounds the same because some of the chords are similar, slightly similar. Um, but the synchronization, the video to the music, requires a, a special license. That's why we don't have MTV and VH1 anymore. You ever wonder why they all went disappearing? Cost too much. The laws need to be changed. That is the main problem. Um, the synchronization. And I do believe that the solution is the venue um, should pay a cover charge for everyone. Yeah, Google. Google, a government agency too. Government, they're a government agency. They're, part, they're actually a branch of government. You got the uh, judicial, you got the executive, you got the, um, the Congress, then you have Google. So they, they should pay for uh, us to be able to upload things. And they should share the revenue too. The revenue should definitely be shared. Um, we should be able to monetize. It's a simple solution. Too bad, the publishers make too much and they're greedy. Copyright was not meant to be a punitive measure. It was meant to uh, protect people uh, from being monopolized. And Google has a monopoly. And all these other people have monopolies. And uh, Don Henley has a monopoly. Everyone has a monopoly. And they made their money on payola. All these companies, UMG, payola, payola, payola. That used to be illegal. Why doesn't Congress go after them for that? Because they have to go after the spooks, too. Because the CIA and the mob run the music industry. Get it through your head. Intelligence agencies, they run the music industry. They're not going after them. They don't want to get shot. Oh, no. Sorry. The preferred method of intelligence agencies is to push people out of the windows. Out the windows. They don't. Congress doesn't want to get pushed out of a window.